Vote counts after Election Day are not unusual. They typically continue for days after every election without any allegations of fraud or threats of lawsuits. Alan Janay checked in on that process for us tonight. And Alan, most of Colorado's races have been called, but there are tens of thousands of ballots that still need to be counted. Well, still work to do, Karen, and it could go on for more than another week. Here at Denver Election Headquarters, they have boarded up in fear of what could be potential violence over this election. Now, there are some votes that are allowed to come in after that 7 p.m. election night deadline, but there is a very clear line between what's allowed and what is not. In Denver, they work side by side, Republican and Democrat. What we're doing here is just prepping them for uh, counting. Denver still had about 100,000 ballots to be counted. That have came in uh, through uh, drop boxes, that came in through vote centers, and that are coming in from overseas. Even in Jefferson County, which had finished its counting on election night, there were more, including those put into drop boxes in another county, those with signature issues corrected, and military ballots. Because they were mailed two weeks ago, but when you mail it from Iraq, it takes a couple of weeks to get here. In Denver, we stopped Kay Colson for a few questions. I'm an election judge. And a Republican. And I was concerned on whether mail-in ballots were really secure and if everything was safe, and I thought the best way to do it was to be here at the headquarters. We asked if she'd seen any ballots coming in after the deadline. No, I don't. None. I don't. I don't. She spent weeks working here and came away with her concerns laid to rest? Yes, completely. Laid to rest. Yeah, I, I really thought, I mean, before I voted in Denver, dropped my ballot in a drop box and didn't really understand what happened. And so what I've said to other people is more Republicans should volunteer to feel confident. I feel like going through this process that everyone should, this should be obligatory. Now, what's yet to come still is an audit of the voting after the preliminary counts are done. That's when humans will pull the ballots, take a look at them, and make sure the machine counting was accurate. After that, and before Thanksgiving, the clerks will bring in the political parties as they have a look at the vote tabulations and make sure they sign off on them before they're certified. As for Colorado's electors, well, there are nine of them, and they're picked by the winning political party. So what happens now is that those electors have to cast their ballots for Joe Biden, because in Colorado, it's winner take all. In Denver, I'm Alan Janae, covering Colorado First.